Hey guys, it's the Solo Cloth here, and today inside of this Monster Legends Guides video, I'm going to be telling you guys how to do well in the current bounty hunt. So let's go ahead and get right into it. Alright, so for the bounty hunt, the first thing you are going to need to do is pick a team, and you are going to want two attackers and a sub. Support. And you want to make sure your support has damage boost. I know a couple of really good supports for bounty hunts are coming out very soon. And one of them is actually the paid monster in the bounty hunt. So if you want a really good bounty hunt monster, definitely go ahead and buy that one. But if you just want to wait for like next bounty hunt, I know the next PvP monster is going to be very good for bounty hunts. It has a lot of damage boost and stamina regen skills. And those are the main things you're going to want to look for, mainly damage boost. So yeah, just find a good damage boost monster and throw it in with your attackers. And then once you get a good team you can go ahead and enter the bounty hunt and you will be put on a grid and then on that grid you'll be with a bunch of other people and you can start clicking these shapes to move through the grid and you will get little arrows pointing where you need to go and you can also follow the other people's arrows and you'll just be following those and getting rewards along the way you'll get little bounty coins and you'll get the salaries for some of the monsters but yeah once you go and follow all of the arrows you will find the actual bounty and that is the main thing you are looking for and then you will go ahead and fight it and it'll cost one stamina per battle and yeah you can just go and battle it as many times as you want and whoever deals the most damage to the bounty out of the people on the grid will go and get a bunch of rewards so yeah you're going to want to fight the bounty the most out of all of the people on the grid and of course since you want to deal the most damage that comes back to the damage boost and attackers you will need to put into the bounty hunt so yeah definitely try to get monsters that will do the most damage for you and then once you beat the bounty monster you will go and get a bunch of coins and if you do the most damage you will get even more coins and then you can spend those coins on monsters in the shop and of course the monsters in the shop are the main goal of this bounty hunt and also every single stamina that you spend will go towards a time challenge for the conjuring and you will get tickets right here so yeah definitely make sure to participate in it even if you don't really want any of the monsters just for tickets so that you can go ahead and get a monster in here in the conjuring because you can actually get ancestors so that is going to be it for this video let me know down in the comments if you guys are going to be participating in this bounty hunt and let me know down in the comments which monster you are trying to get and I see you guys in the next one. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Goodbye.